Hello everyone, Anna here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I will be making very uh, simple and cute project. It's gonna be pillow, star pillow, but it will be uh, probably mini version. I'm not gonna make a full size of the pillow. So what do you need? Himalaya yarn. I have a hook number six, like always scissors, um, needle and quite a lot of stuffing. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, where is it here? Okay, so I start from Magic Ring. Magic Ring. And I will place inside the Magic Ring four single crochets. One, two, three, and one more, four, and come here, and four, I tighten up, pull the yarn, and place your uh, hook in the first stitch which you made which is one, two, three, and four. So my one is here. Sometimes I need to use this way, make it to get inside. Okay, and now we make two single crochets in each stitch. One and two. So at the end, we'll have a eight. Three and four in the next one. Three and four. Then is five and six, and two more, seven, eight, seven and eight. All right, so this is the beginning. And then from here, I will make uh, one round of a single crochet around. So you can put stitch marker here, or you can just count till eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's our tip is happening. Now I can use my stitch marker, which is not a very regular one, but it's very comfortable. And I will increase by one. So I will make one single crochet. And in the next stitch, I will put two single crochets. So again, one single crochet and two single crochets. Okay, and the next one till the end of the round the same way. One single crochet and two single crochets. One single crochet and the last one will be two single crochets. Two single crochets. And again, I will place my stitch marker at the last chain and make single crochets all around. One uh, single crochet in each stitch. So one, two, and keep going. This is what we are making here, star arm. So we will need the five of those. So when we finish it, you're gonna make four more. They need to be a little bit pointy. That's why we made four, uh, four single crochets at the beginning. Okay, and this is the last one. Okay, let's see how it look like. It's get pointy. And now I will increase a little bit more. So I will make two single crochets and increase. So one, two, 
and two inside one and again one two and two inside one so it's one two and one and two in one stitch and again one and two and two single crochets in one and again one and two and increase two single crochets in one stitch calls increase so i will be using word increase now one two and the last one is increase right we are start to having shape which we want and another one around make single crochet around so one single crochet in each stitch okay is rolling okay let's keep going okay and the last one and let's see the size i would make one more round of single crochets so we go one more round around one two Keep going. okay this one seemed to be enough for one arm and uh, i will finish it up with the final one you make slip stitch and you can remove the yarn you can cut the yarn how long is it okay all right take out this piece and nicely finish it off take your needle come on get in okay we good and hide the yarn you actually might make the finish it of this way okay there so we have like false stitch here and go back to the pre previous one okay so it's look even and the rest of the yarn you just can hide between the stitches inside can put it in and slightly fill up with uh, your filler but don't fill up till end we will finish it later on just a little bit till the tip and all right so make four more of those and then we will connect them into the star now when i have all five arms i will connect them together with single crochets so i let the yarn i didn't cut the yarn at the last uh, arm so the simple is that get in i'm gonna pick each one by one on the corner and 
connect them with single crochet all around and then make single crochet here so you make the arms flat it will be easier for you to crochet them together um, that's how simple is it and then this one and then I add another one okay Okay, two more. the last one Okay, now I need to attach to the first one, make sure they don't turn the other side. Okay. Take the last one. and make one round of single crochet around. See, he flipped. All right, so let's see how it looks like. Yeah. It's going good, so keep doing it, finish till your last uh, piece and I will be back and we will keep finishing the middle of the circle. Okay, I made uh, one uh, single crochet around the circle and my starting point is here, so I will put my stitch marker. And now we need a little bit to reduce the size of the circle. So I will make uh, five single crochets and uh, I will reduce. So I start with reducing by making invisible reduce, which is you picking first part of next stitch and straight away go to first part of second uh, stitch grab the yarn pull through two of those and you have a two again and do the same grab the yarn and pull two of those so now i make 
five single crochets one two three four and five and then i will repeat decrease so again grab the first part second part get the yarn pull over and through the two and then again five single crochets one two three four and five and again decrease so make the same pattern till your starting point so again grab this this pull through and again and again five single crochets one two three four and five all right and let's finish that way another one we decrease four so we make decrease and four single crochets decrease and four single crochets and then we'll be doing like that till zero so then another one will be three and decrease two decrease one decrease and only decrease and we'll close it so um okay this is one two three and four and i decrease here and one two three and four and decrease and one two three four and decrease I finish four and decrease now I'm going for three decrease so decrease okay and three single crochets one two and three decrease one two three decrease one two three decrease right so let's finish this round till the end then make two decrease one decrease and just decrease and i will be back how you can see it's closing nicely so keep working it all right how you can see the last row which i made was one <coughs> oh my oh my 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 i'm sorry very sorry uh, last row when i finished with one decrease one decrease one decrease so it's nearly nearly there so now i will show you make all decreases one by one so you are picking basically every single thing one by one so decrease and another one also make decrease and again decrease so our hole is getting smaller and again decrease till your starting point and decrease and the last decrease let's see how big is our circle in the middle okay take it out okay 
yeah we can actually close it easily so you just cut the yarn and grab the needle remove this piece from here okay get your needle and now peek from outside every uh, every stitch yes so one by one two oopsie three four five six seven i think i have around eight now put this yarn at the back and pull gently we want to tighten up but we don't want to have a wrinkles okay and it's closed so that's how it goes and with the back you will do exactly the same but remember before you close it you put your stuffing inside like here and the mini pillow will be ready you can decorate with the eyes, smile, whatever you like. Uh, yes, yeah, so I will close the back part and I will come back to you to, to, to show you how the final product look like. I am in the moment uh, when I finish one single crochet and decrease. So the small gap left, I'm going to put my stuffing now. So first, obviously, I have to feel all the if you hadn't done it before, obviously, you need to feel the arms. It might take quite a lot of stuffing. make sure it's properly till the tip so it's not empty okay. which one else okay Start looking beautiful, I have to say. I love it. It's very cute. And put as many stuffing as you like. Depends how uh, uh, firm the pillow you want to be. Need to be. Make some shape. I think it's fine and I keep closing it so what left for me uh, um, every single place I need to decrease so I go to decreasing all the way try to keep it tight here not overstretch the stitches right two and one and again one two okay this and this get in Okay, I removed this, I don't need it anymore. 
can make one more it's gonna look better if you think then your uh the circle is still too big to close it up you might make a little bit more decreasing but i think that's fine it will be ready at this point so i cut the yarn remove it we go this way okay get my massive needle this is my favorite needle i like this huge plastic one is really easy to use but only when you have the big yarn where we are here inside this sometimes hard to see which stitch goes next where you put it in where it didn't okay. I think there's two more. Okay, and tighten up very gently, squeeze, squeeze your thing so the gap is closed. I think it's brilliant. And now we hide the yarn, which is really easy. You just put the yarn in different places so it will be invisible. This is super cute star, I think. Okay. All right, you cannot see your yarn here because it's inside. Okay, and finally you can just cut it off. If you think it's standing out like this, you just can push it inside, right? What do you say? I think it's not bad. So how I mentioned before, this mini version of the pillow, uh, I didn't make full one, but you know at this point the pattern, how to keep going. So if you just keep increasing the size of your arms and yeah, they will be bigger definitely. And the rest is, is the same, just closing up and reducing slowly, slowly till there. I have an idea to give my star a little bit smile. How it's gonna be this way, okay. So I'll use the white uh, Himalaya yarn for that, the velvet one. And I am thinking to make the eyes first so they might be somewhere here okay if you can put your needle far away somewhere so you can get your yarn inside and it will be invisible okay this point and then one eye will go one two three and four then it's one two one one two so it needs to come out in this point and again one two three and four is this point now i will go inside in the middle of this eye come on get in okay 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 it doesn't want to go in okay make it Okay, leave this little bit loose and I can go back in the same point where I came from and the same repeat in the second eye. So this eye will be a little bit slightly down, look like more happy eyes. Yes. And here the same. I will go with the same space. And I want to smile maybe, 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 maybe somewhere here. Okay. Gently. Okay. And smile will go all the way till here. And I need 
to go in the middle lead it loose yarn then we can cut it here in the same space and go somewhere else with your uh, needle okay okay the smile eyes ready so how you hide the yarn because different color you're not going like before there you always go into the same space you can go even at the back of your body and pull the yarn till it's hidden you cannot see so make few rounds like this the same so your yarn inside is actually rolling around the, this feeling of yours so this will be holding your yarn inside okay right and i can cut it and the last we just push it in that's nice so we have a happy happy smiley star I hope you like it. All right, so that is all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, keep watching my channel for more videos. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. If you really like it, please subscribe my channel so we can be in touch. Thanks, bye.